Hey people. Okay, so every every Monday I am going to be going live and doing a live reading because hey, I never seem to have time for YouTube and this works for me. Let me again tell people that I'm on YouTube doing a reading of the future of the world and see if Instagram wants to come to me. So uh, let me do this and I go YouTube. Okay. Hi, Kai. Okay. We're going to do a reading of the world and what's going to happen. Well, hey, I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube. Okay. YouTube. Okay. We're doing a reading on the future of the world. So you get reading on the future of the world. Okay, I need my moderators, African Jamaican girl, you are on duty. Okay, my moderators, please. My moderators, okay. I don't know what that is, my moderators. Uh, please report for duty. Please report for duty, but I'll just get new ones over there. Report for duty now. Duty now. Okay. Lots of love. Okay. Oh, Lord. I just decided to do this right now because I want to change things a little bit. So on YouTube, every Monday, I will do up uh, on YouTube every Monday. I will do like a live reading of something and someone and because I've just finished recording for Patreon and some YouTube as well. Hey, guys, I just did Portia and I just did Wendy and they will be on Patreon. You will get the, you know, the first few minutes as all. Always. But this live one is specifically for you. And I will do it every Monday at the same time, 5.30, so that I can go to the gym at 6.15. So we've got 30 minutes. We've got 30 minutes, people. Then I got to go to the gym because I've been sitting all day. You know, the sitting business is really bad for my health. It seriously is. So I got to go to the gym. But I did buy furniture today. I went and I bought secondhand furniture. Hey, guys. Be a moderator. Okay, let me let me turn you into a moderator right here. Add as moderator. Okay, managing can manage blocked words and change chat modes in life. Yes, 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 yes. Uh-huh. Do I have to pick? Oh, I have to pick one. Okay. Thank you, mommy, for offering. Okay. So let me just put the alarm on for six. Um, we'll make it 6.15 today because then I got to go to the gym. I got to work out, man. You know, love myself, loving myself. So when I'm getting to 610, somebody please remind me, gym, gym, gym. Okay. I'm going to the gym every um, other day because I need a day to recover. But somebody just, I learned this from TikTok. TikTok is where I blow my steam and where I show all my hate and anger. And I have the best wigs, but no soft life. <laughs> Anyway, I um I learned it on TikTok, right? That somebody said you shouldn't think about how many, how much you're gonna walk on a daily basis. Have a yearly goal. Say you're gonna walk 600 miles in a year. And I thought that's such a great idea, but I'm only gonna start having a yearly goal when I can walk for an hour without huffing and puffing. But guys, I bought all my furniture today. I bought it all at Goodwill because I ain't about to waste money buying anything extravagant or fancy because people, 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 I need to build that sanctuary. I know it's going to take me five years, but first I got to pay off all my debts because once you clear all your debts, you can then now save money, right? So I bought all my stuff at a Goodwill. I'm very pleased with myself. So now I, you know, now I'm ready to go. Okay, you're doing the gym also. That's so good. And it does good for this. I'm doing all this not for my body. I'm exercising not for my body, for my mental health. 
Okay, so I got to do this at 6.15, then I got to come back, then I got to edit the videos and upload them, the ones that are going on Patreon. Then tomorrow I'll do the ones for YouTube because, you know, you got your day, you got your time. I am busy buying furniture so that I can move in and provide my son some more to come off having a home and at the same time i am working you know i'm doing i'm balancing i'm doing the best that i can you're all just gonna have to forgive me and then of course i need money so i've got clients to deal with as well but every monday every monday i will be here doing a live reading of something so i just chose the future of the world but from now on those who are on youtube you are free at, you know, in the comments afterwards to, to, to request who you would like to be read or what you would like to, to read on. But this is the future of the world and you guys get to ask the questions and I will read them with my bad eyes. <laughs> it's okay. I'm trying to get rid of this pimple. It's not really a pimple. It's something, but you know, I'm going to try and see if I can do my grandma's things to get rid of it. But yeah. Okay. Get a Fitbit, Gogo. It helps me track my steps. Takisha, for real, I can just take my phone. And my phone will just do that. But you know, I'm just walking to African music. Just walking to African music. If I can forget it. But I really do want to do a yearly goal. Like I'm going to be walking. Anyway. Do not distract me. This is business. <laughs> okay. Blow. 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 Okay. I'm going to pick. A, a topic of the future of the world, right? I'm going to pick a topic, any topic. Okay, I'm going to pick uh, the economy, the economy of Canada and the United States. Guess what? Guess what? And I've mentioned it already. March 10, 2025, I am going to Jamaica to celebrate the Day of Light in Jamaica. And I'm asking for some good women to come with me, but I'm going to talk about it much more later. But March 25, tw March 10, 2025, I am going to Jamaica to the ocean and I'm hoping you'll all freaking come with my ass and we're going to light candles and we're going to do so much more and we're going to drink. I don't drink anymore, but I, I'll drink non-alcoholic and we're going to party and we're going to dance and we're just going to have a girl's thing, okay? But a spiritual thing too. I'm calling out to those who are metaphysical scientists like me. I hope you hook up with me, please. Let's, let's do like workshops one per day for each of us so that we can be you know but yeah start saving your money bitches start saving your money so that you can all come with okay we'll spend a week in jamaica and march 10 we'll all wake up at 3 a.m and we will all go to the ocean. We are looking for a resort. Um, Janik, who is Jamaican, she is helping me find the best resort. We'll walk to the ocean dressed in our white. Well, why not white? White or black? And we will do our day of light. Okay, it is time for us to spread our holiday bitches. Time for us to... And this was a thing started by black women, black American women african-american women so you know uh i'll call you later and it is time for you bitches to claim what's yours and we are taking it to jamaica okay the black economy goes the black community surrounding our financial future that's kai that goes with the economy in total right so Show me the economy of the United States in 2024. Show me the economy of the United States. It has been suspended, as you can see. God has taken something out of it. It has been suspended. Show me the economy of the United States for 2024. Okay, the economy. It's actually going to be good. It's going to stabilize. The, the suspension is stabilized, but it fell in the past that was a few months ago it fell and everything right you are all feeling the effects of it right now 
pretty much all of you should be going some sort through some sort of financial adjustment through some sort of financial situation and financial adjustment because here we go you know it fell but you know what it's gonna creep right up we saw this too in about three to four months it's gonna creep right up those of you who don't have jobs right now it's gonna take a while for you to get jobs i'm not gonna lie because there is this um you know arrow that's going that way you you need to diversify bitches you need to diversify you need to take jobs that you would otherwise not take maybe you need to punch higher or maybe punch lower or just punch structurally like this right but um you need to do something with yourself because it's not going to improve that much in 2024 it's a slight improvement that can lead you to backwardness all at the same time because this let me flip it has turned into a circle okay but at least it's no longer a straight line of loser and failure it is now a circle you need to still be careful with your finances you need to budget you know you need to budget your finances well okay so now we are looking at how the black economy of the united states will fare in 2024 so Tell me about the black economy. And look at that shit. That shit just fell out. So basically, we're being told that there's no such thing as the black economy. <laughs> Literally, we're being told there is no such thing as the black economy. So, oh yeah, we'll look at Jamaica because you know the colonizers. <laughs> that would be us, bitches. We are the colonizers religious colonizers okay we're gonna march into jamaica like colonizers okay <laughs> okay colonizers bringing the religion of the people to the people we're colonizers okay i will look at jamaica all righty 2024 show me how black people see this year is so fucking unremarkable. It's not even funny. This year is unremarkable to the end of time. And it's not even funny. That's some fucked up bullshit right here. See, all the good, all the goodness and all the good things for black people this year, literally gone, do that. Bye-bye. It was fun. So this year, we're going to struggle, Black people. We're going to struggle. Show me Black people in the economy. Now I've forgotten the question, but I know we are talking about Black people, right? Okay. All righty. This is what we got. Not good. Not good. Don't say hallelujah over here. Not good. Not good. We have been forsaken. Okay, but we refuse to be forsaken. That's why spells exist. <laughs> we refuse that business. You must just refuse some things that happen in life. Refuse that business. God damn it. Refuse to be forsaken and refuse poverty and see what happens. Okay, we refuse it. But it life is oh my god those guys again the pp loans or the ppp loans they're gonna take a huge hit on the black economy and the black community and mothers mothers baby mamas you're gonna find your lives really hard this year 2024 you're gonna be carrying the burden of your babies more alone than before so if he was bringing diapers he ain't bringing those that many diapers this year you better stop giving him dick i swear to god just don't give it to him just don't 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 any questions before we move on from the black economy can you take a quick, yeah, I will take a look at Jamaica. Right now we looked at America. There's no point in looking at Canada at all because there are barely any black people here. But the racism is strong. When I went to Goodwill today, I met a guy who immigrated to Canada four years ago from um, the Congo. And the first thing he told me before he even said hello was, oh my God, the racism is killing me. No, seriously. No, seriously, that was the first thing that he said before he even said hello. He said, the racism is killing me. These white people are so mean. And then I said, yeah, they are. 
and I smiled. What could I do? What could I do? So I'm not even gonna look. Okay, let's look at Jamaica because we're gonna colonize Jamaica. Okay, we're gonna colonize Jamaica. And I would like to do some readings there too. So we'll see. I got a whole year to sort this out. And this shit is going to happen because I'm very determined these days. I'm determined to do what I'm thinking I want to do. You know. Okay. Jamaica. Show me your economy. She says very sweetly, same old, same old. Okay. Show me your economy for 2024. Show me your economy. She says, my sister, what economy? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, this is what we got. This is what we got, okay? This is what we got. We got a shell that fell very far away. Your economy is not progressing at all. In fact, are you guys fighting with someone? Are you fighting with a superpower? Are you... Are you fighting with a superpower? Because if you are, there are long-term effects to this war, but if the fighting or whatever you are putting an end to is going to negate all the contracts that Jamaica had in place. Basically, the superpower is going to fuck you over. Whatever they were giving you, whatever you were getting as an advantage, gone 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 and that is going to affect your economy but right now though somebody has got a lot of money in jamaica somebody has a lot of money in jamaica right now so right now you're all okay but you're heading to dry season because whatever yeah there's a superpower that you guys are fighting with and yeah that superpower is not pleased and they're gonna fuck you over and it's going to take a long... So basically, what you're being told is that your economy is going to tank. So, bitches, let us go and colonize very quickly, early next year, before their economy tanks, because we won't like it after that. <laughs> Maybe we can bring back the energies of the ancestors again, and the ancestors will heal it. But yeah... Your war with the British, like you just said, is going to cost you. It's going to tank your economy for a very, very long time. Okay, next question. Are the Chinese coming to Jamaica as well like America? Where are they not going? There are so many in Africa. There are 3 million Chinese citizens in the Republic of Zimbabwe. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. But okay, are the Chinese going to invade Jamaica like they are doing America? Are the Chinese going to invade Jamaica? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Well, it's on hold. So somehow Jamaica is not letting them in. It's on hold and it will stay on hold. Jamaica is not letting them in. So it's very difficult for them to get in. The paperwork and shit is not going through. So they are not coming. It's a no. Okay. The future. The future, guys. I'm doing live so that you can ask questions. We can, what's your next question? Okay, what is your next question? I really don't think that uh, we should be fight. Okay, what's your next question? Let's have it. The future. What do you want to know about the future of 2024? What do you want to know? Write your questions. I'm reading, reading, reading. Will domestic violence increase? Okay. Will domestic violence, we get a yes because of the economic hardship. Will domestic violence increase? Yes or no? Will domestic violence increase? Yes or no? Let's see what we get. No. The answer overall is no. Okay. But there will be. No. No. We get a no. There will be the same old, same old, the bickering, the fighting over a child, the fighting over cheating and lying, the fighting over a pregnancy, which may end in domestic violence, but not. Yeah, the fighting over a pregnancy, the fighting over cheating, the fighting over a baby, the fighting over male, the, the you know, just basic male, female fighting. Yeah, it remains the same despite everything. 2024. Is a, is a year that is giving 
the same. This is a very bland year. If if you want it to be very exciting, you're going to have to be the one who moves it, in other words. Okay, next question. Will new president affect USA in a good or bad way? Well, I was going through those guys, right? Will the new president affect America in a good way? Will the new president of the United States affect America in a good way? In a good way. This guy, whoever he is, is very bland. No, 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 no. This is a something very interesting the metaphysical has not yet decided who is going to be president the metaphysical has literally not decided who is going to be president there are three contenders for the throne this person here who is an outsider so this is somebody who wasn't who isn't really into politics that much this rich motherfucker right here who is the past and it feels like it's biden rich motherfucker who has a woman who's actually leading the government and it's not the one that we know she's come up before so this is it and this is very far away this is trump it's like no seriously this is trump right here these three people are totally not head to head quite it's like biden and trump are head to head is this biden's second term i mean i don't know anything is this Biden's second term? Because I know American presidents get two terms, right? 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 There is this guy who is totally... This guy is not Kennedy. This guy is totally, like, not really part of the establishment, right? So he's going on to his second, right? They're going to want to run this Biden guy again. For the second time then there is trump over here he doesn't have so many votes like that i don't know this is this is crazy but anyway the metaphysical has told us to wait and I, that's why i wanted to read them all one by one because you know what then i would this is not my thing but i want to go further than i usually do right um will housing markets get better in 2024 oh Okay, will the housing market get better in 2024? Yes or no? Will the housing market in America get better in 2024? Yes or no? Will the housing market in America get better in 2024? The answer is same old, same old, but more leaning towards the no. There will be a difference, a slight difference, but not much for you to write home about. Slight difference. More loans will be given out, though. More housing loans would be will be given out, though. And things will sort of stabilize when it comes to inventory. But mm -mm. bigger, bigger, better, brighter changes in 2025. Okay, next question. Okay, 2025, millennials can now start looking at buying a house. It's not bad, you guys. This will give you a whole year to save. So save it. Okay. Um, any more? Will cryptocurrency replace the dollar? Okay, will cryptocurrency replace the dollar in the United States? Yes or no? Will cryptocurrency replace the dollar in the United States? Yes or no? The cryptocurrency replaced the dollar in the United States. Yes or no? Okay. That's going to take many years. But eventually, if people keep pushing, then it's a resounding yes. But right now, the dollar is extremely powerful and is hanging in there because the old school God the old people are making sure that it stays that way. 
So with time, when the old people are dead who, who control the finances, yep, it may happen. You guys are just moving faster than the generation that was before you wants you to move. They don't want you to move that fast. Okay, next question. What country should black Americans move to if they want to relocate? Oh, Lord, you better pick a country because the whole world is your oyster. Pick a country. Where do you want to move to? How will the influx of immigrants affect the United States? Were they asked to come to the United States? Okay. How will the new immigrants affect the United States? How will the new immigrants affect the United States? How will the new immigrants affect the United States? Let's see what we get. Really, it is like, um, not at all. <laughs> That's like, not at all. It is like, not at all. It's like, um, they're going to find America very difficult. The land of you know, the, the land that they thought was everything and a bag of chips, they're going to find it very difficult. Some of them are going to go back. Yeah, some of them are going to trot back. Some of them are going to ask to leave by themselves because it's too much. See, the burden is too much. This is too much. You know, the burden is too much. So, like, only the tough ones are going to stay. Mm. Okay. Hi. Okay. Next question. The future of the world. Um, yes, they're gonna learn. It's too much. All in all, the world will always be fucked up. Well, pretty much. We know this. <laughs> to the Bantu, the physical existence is the hell. We know this. The physical existence is the hell. Okay. It's time for people to choose how they are going to live their lives regardless of how the world is up in flames or not. Yes, and I've chosen how I'm going to live my life in a sanctuary in Southern Africa. You are very right. We have to because the world will always be fucked up. Okay, um, what are your thoughts on five-dimensional beings um, coming to Earth? Will they? I see the History Channel cover the topic differently now. I have no idea. So let us ask the shelf. Are five-dimensional human beings going to come to Earth? Yes or no? Are five-dimensional human beings going to come to Earth? Yes or no? Are five-dimensional human beings? Uh, oh, dear. I'm not going to say it, but the answer is a resounding no. <laughs> But it's saying even more than just a no, okay? I mean, let me show you, all righty. I, I can't get it all, but thank God I'll have a new camera in about two weeks. Thank goodness. Okay, this is the no right here, and that's where all the shells are. The no to the motherfucking no to the no, 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 no. And it is saying that it's all rubbish. It's all drivel. So many people saying so many things. This is people talking. So many people saying so many things. All rubbish. And the talk is never going to go away. It would have been a yes if the shells were coming in this direction, right? But they are going in that direction. The talk will continue. Why are people doing this? Let me just ask. Why are people doing this? Because the world is boring them. They are bored. They are so bored. You can only watch the same version of a movie 10 times. I'm literally just getting it from the veil. Boredom. Boredom. When you see me going back and forth, I'm right into the veil. They are bored. And because they are bored, they are making up things. Will Charles give up throne to Wills? We gotta know. He's gonna die, the king. Will Charles give up the throne to William? Yes or no? Will Charles give up the throne to William? Yes or no? Will Charles... You know what, you guys? They knew he had cancer 
many, many, many years ago. Okay, this isn't new. This cancer didn't take him by surprise. It was known. We just know it now because he's, you know, he's going towards the age, just like Queen Elizabeth had cancer and she just was, you know, near the end of her cancer when she gave the speech, right? She gave the speech for people to be kind to her son. Her son would already survived cancer once and now it has returned. You know, they are very prepared for this. There's no panic. They knew. And the, la the answer for you is a direct and questionable no. You know, the monarchy must see it through. The succession must be done the way it's supposed to be done. Okay, next question. Will the pandemic continue in 2024? That pandemic is not going away. Will COVID continue in 2024, yes or no? Do you know that I know people who, there's this white woman in South Africa. She's a, she's a real estate agent. She got COVID and guess what? She One day she was just walking and her bones broke and both her legs broke. I mean, the pain of that while she was walking. Taken to hospital, they discovered that the COVID was in her bones. And now it was breaking her bones. Like I said, whether we like it or not, getting that disease is a death sentence right now. It stays in your system. You survive it, but it stays in your system. And it will kill you one way or the other. Yeah, her bones are infected by COVID. So anyway, um, will the cost of living be lowered? Will the cost of living be lowered? Okay. Will the cost of living be lowered in America? Will the cost of living be lowered in America? Will the cost of living be lowered in America? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. No, you're just gonna have to get used to the prices for now. There will be just a slight, slight lowering, like a minuscule lowering, but mm, okay. Next. Um, what, when will black people in America get another leader like Martin? Well, not in 2024. And this is about 2024. Um, but it will be interesting to explore that. I don't have enough time to explore that, but I would really love to explore that. I would like to find him or her. Because when I said him, I heard her. So I would like to find her. I would really like to explore that. That that's a very fascinating question, a very good question. Okay. Um. Oh, hi, Diane. Okay. Um. Well, I already asked about Jamaica. Your your economy is going to be worse. Worse. I told you that we're coming to Jamaica before it really goes to the dogs. You guys, you you fucked up. A, a world power and they're not forgiving you for that and you're going to have to take the consequences of it for every action there is a reaction and i'm sorry that right there is a reaction okay next question um what will happen to supermarkets in the future not in 2024 nothing is going to happen to supermarkets in 2024 or 2025 or 2026 not gonna happen not gonna happen Okay. Any more questions? We are at 6.04. At 6.15, I get up to go and exercise and maybe at 10 p.m. before I go to bed, Patreon will have the reading of Portia. It's kind of long because I forgot to ask, answer the questions until I got to the end. You will have the reading of Portia Patreon tonight. And then I've recorded, I've, pre I've recorded everything. Your lesson, your lesson is on what uh, has been talked about uh, a great deal. Um, being a soft wife, being a rich man's wife, we then get kicked out and gets nothing. That's your lesson. And then um, for class, it is everybody in life has a destiny helper. 
everyone in life has a destiny helper. And I really enjoyed that class. Okay, everybody, God's design, he brings someone to help you in this world, in this life, to elevate you, but they don't always agree with God. Okay. Um, then the NFL in the USA, what's going on? My ancestor said, Ms. Fowler, we do not watch football. So if you really want us to answer something like that, you have to be very detailed and give us the story. Okay. So I'll be back next week, Monday, Ms. Fowler. Keep your question for next week, Monday, when you've done all the research. Okay. Uh, what will happen to the immigrants who are flowing to New York? Some of them will go back. Mm -hmm. Some of them are going to pack their shit and go back because life is too hard in the United States. How will uh, the how will the job? How will okay? What's that? Okay, show me the job market of twenty twenty four in America. Show me the job market of twenty twenty four in America. Show me the job market of 2024 in America. Let's see what we got here. So we got job markets. There are jobs that are being created, but they will only come into effect after end of 2024 beginning of 2025 there are jobs being created but right now there's a nice little square that tells us that jobs are pretty much going to remain where they're at in 2024 this is the year of blah i think we once mentioned that that this is the year of blah this is the year of blah people okay next question um, how will AI affect the job market? It's going to, good question. How will AI affect the job market? How will AI affect the job market in 2024? How will AI affect the job market? It's going to, uh, uh, the intention was that AI would completely take over and get rid of all you people, but that's not going to happen. AI is not working according to standards and according to the way it was designed. The scientists are going to have to tweak that motherfucker a little bit longer. So AI is going to have no effect on the job market whatsoever, much to their tears. Okay, next question. Will more black people win the lottery? Okay, Kiki. Will more black people win the lottery in 2024? Yes or no? Yes or no? Will more black people win the lottery in 2024? Yes or no? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Good question. The answer is yes. More black people will win the lottery. Some will win small amounts of money. Some will win huge amounts of money. But yes. So guess what? I'm going to play the lottery. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm going to play the lottery. Okay. Um, okay, you feel the summer is going to be hot as hot as it's sexy or just hot as it's hot outside. <laughs> be specific, Tanisha. <laughs> be specific, hot as it's sexy or hot as it's just hot. Okay. Um, let's see. What's next? <laughs> What's next? We got a few minutes to go. We got a few minutes. Will hurricanes be bad this year? Summer for the southern USA. Okay. Will hurricanes be bad this year? This summer. Will hurricanes be bad this summer? Will hurricanes be bad this summer? Yes or no? Yes or no? Let's see. Um, same old, same old. This is a boring year. So if you flooded and whatever, and you were evacuated and whatever, that's pretty much what's going to happen. This is a really boring year, you guys. I, I keep getting squares. Squares everywhere. Same old, same old. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay. Um, I will save the live. Would there be a major black blackout in America this year? 
Yes, bitch. Yes, I'm not even gonna ask. There's always a major blackout in America. <laughs> Natural disaster. Same old, same old. I'm telling you guys, this year, and yet I'm so excited. I don't get it. I'm so freaking excited for 2024. You guys have no idea. I'm so excited, but it is a blah year. It is just blah. I don't know how to explain it, but I think you get it. It's just like so blah. Like we've already experienced what we are going to experience. Maybe that's why. Oh my God, little wolf. I, I, I wish you hadn't given me money. Please don't give me money on this channel. I can't collect it. It's hacked. I should have put that. Moderators, please remind everybody. Now I cannot get that. My, oh God. I just lost out on $7.99. Moderators, please remember this for next time as well. Please remember this. Tell them not to send me money. I don't know how to remove the money button. I will try to look for it and I'll try to take a lesson and I'll try to remove it. The money doesn't come to me. It goes to the hackers. Please don't feed my hackers. Okay. Yes, no super chats on this channel. Please, please. Okay, so 611, four more minutes. Do, 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 do. This year, guys, is so boring. But I'm really happy to be in it. You know, it's like, I'm really happy to be in it, but it's so boring. Okay. Oh my God, hey, from Bali. I was, I'm thinking that I want to visit Bali. I'm thinking that for a while there, I'm going to do Asia instead of Africa. I want to come to Bali because, you know, Asia is cheaper for vacations. Africa is expensive. I want to live in Africa. I'm thinking that Asia is cheaper. So I might make my way to Bali. You removed it. Thank you so much, little wolf. Okay. I am really like, yeah, you know like um all righty do i need to get a generator the uk government said we should prepare for blackouts oh you're talking about uk and it's blackouts you should but somehow i don't see you doing it yeah i don't see you personally doing it but yes so basically go make something happen this year pretty much lucy Pretty much go make something happen. I'm looking forward to it, guys. I'm going to be looking for some geriatric old men. <laughs> I want to put on my wig. <laughs> and I'm going to be looking for some geriatric old men so that I can be called a girl over here. I'm going to be busy. <laughs> I'm going to be busy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm excited about this year. I'm excited. Do you have general advice for us for 2024? I just gave it to you, Lupita. Go out and do you. Go out and do you for real. Make things happen because this is such a boring year. Interracial dating is going to be the same as all the time. Dude, the same. Trust and believe me. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to work out for my mind so that I can be laughing like this all the time. Please book readings. Please tell your friends about my channel so, channel so that they can come. And next week, Monday, we'll be back with the live. If you have any suggestions, any ideas, write them in the comments below. Like, what would you like me to read for you every Monday? Because I'm going to do this every Monday at 5.30. If I don't do it at 5.30, I'll do it at 12. But I'll let you know in advance because I enjoy this much more than making a video for youtube join me on patreon where you can watch uh portia this week it's portia and uh it is also um what's his name the black panther the black panther it is thank you it is portia and okay 
It is Portia and the Black Panther. And like I, I already mentioned what relationship is and what class is. Join me. I'm going to put up relationship and class and all the others after I come back from the gym. I love you guys. Thank you so much for working with you. I can never thank you enough. You're the reason that I'm so happy. You're the reasons that I am laughing and smiling. Keep supporting me, please. Tell your friends. Share with your friends. I mean, you know, come to patreon i'm so gonna build that sanctuary okay in the meantime i'm going to put myself in a good mood so that so that a man can find me in a good place this time around and i'll get myself a geriatric and life will be good okay <laughs> kisses people <laughs>